some dust and some scratch in here. There's got to be more than two turkeys doing all this. Yeah, it's all up and down the whole way. Yeah, oh, here's here's a feather here, you know. Yeah, they've been they're scratching the crud out of here. You need to find the one that the rest of this is attached to. Oh, we're gonna find it. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah. I think he's, he's scared the scared he, a feather out of it. He's him. a feather short, so maybe yeah. you can't fly as fast. Yeah, yeah maybe. <laughs> When Cody first got here, we asked him if he'd ever shot a turkey, and he said he hadn't. And I'm always excited to hear that, because I always like to have a first timer. That's always really fun for me to see someone kill their first bird. Find the little rascals. Coming into the sun, I was kind of expecting that we'd stop and, and call a whole lot. Uh, come to find out that this late in the season, the birds aren't responding to calls as well. So we did have to do quite a bit of spot and stock. They wouldn't come down to us, so we decided to try to you know, work our way around them a little bit more, see if we could do any good, and we didn't do any good. No. <laughs> Found birds. Yeah, we're seeing birds. There's birds, it's just a matter of time. We had a pretty good setup this morning. We were in a river bottom, had half a dozen birds, and they were answering the call real good. Next thing we know, they fly down, fly right past us and hit the ground, gobbled a few times. We just couldn't draw them back from the hens. I don't know if we can go up this bottom without seeing us as a problem, because they're, they've got an elevation advantage on us right now. Let's try to do it quietly. Yeah. With the turkeys not coming in, the hunters have to go to them. As the hunters crawl closer, the turkeys pull farther back. Yeah, he won't come back, though. I don't think. I mean, I guess he could. What we're fighting is it's the end of the season. So there, some birds are gobbling, some not. That's the way it goes. That's that turkey hunting, you know, that's part of the game. Uh, those things happen. That's the way it goes. Well, I think if we got here in the middle of this bottom, get on that high spot right there, that's gonna be a good vantage point. Doug Buckley here at, at White River Outfitters was just top notch, you know. It, it wasn't an easy hunt being late season. He worked his tail off for us. You know, you could set up right here in the bottom too. I mean, yeah, I mean, we, we need to be someplace where we can, we can be within range to shoot them, you know. Somewhere we can be rested and not get eaten by mosquitoes, not get bit by a rattlesnake. Yeah, we don't want that. What's lying in the grass is a good deal cuter than a snake. In a rear sight, this is. I just happened to glance over to my right, and not a foot and a half away from me is a baby fawn. I mean, there's putting off no scent. It's just been dropped within the next last couple days. There's probably another one around here somewhere. We're gonna slide out of here and not freak it out. Mom will come in here and move it. All right, buddy, you're safe. You're safe, we're not little coyotes. We're late in the season, got a day and a half left. The birds, they're pretty used to hearing the call, and if they see something they don't like, they're gone. Go back where they were. I think they're gonna go back to the east, right on that ridge line there. Let's go back this way. I can't tell you how many times we're up and down these hills, setting up, and just when we think we got something figured out, it doesn't work. There he's full strut up on top of the ridge. Huh. Well, he's pretty up there in the hill. Yeah, he is. Seeing a lot of birds, you know, and working on them a lot, but not having a lot of success with the birds coming into the call. He's had to sit there all damn day. We were on top of a hill, we are glassing down there, and we heard a bird gobble. Did you hear that? Yeah. It sounds like he's over that way. We went down and started looking, and we found three toms, three lone toms. And so our plan was to get ahead of them. Oh, he, he came up right here in this grassy spot right here. It was in a real thick draw kind of area. It wasn't the typical open stuff. We'll just go through here if we can. Cody, you sit right there. We got ahead of them, got all set up. And I told him, I said, Cody, you know, when you get your shot, you're gonna have to take it quick. Don't worry about beard size. I said, let's just get your first turkey. I hear him. <laughs> he didn't make two or three little calls. The next thing you know, here come those birds. I heard him down to our left. <laughs> Coming in from your left. Okay. Here he comes. I hear him. Get 
Get ready, Cody. There you go. Right there he is, right there he is. Cody. Whenever you're ready, take him. Good job. Watch him, watch him, watch him. Nice shot. Good shot, good shot, buddy. Good shot, yeah. good shot, good shot. You got him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Woo! Woo -hoo! You laid him over. I told him when the birds walk into the opening, you're gonna have to be ready, and, and he was. I mean, it couldn't have worked out better. It was really kind of tight quarters on on my shooting area. I had just a split second to shoot that bird as he came up through this clearing. Put it on him and pulled the trigger, made a good shot, and it, and it worked out just how you, how, just how I'd want it to work out. Nice shot, Cody. There he is, buddy. Oh, yeah. Nice one. <laughs> so he finally got his first turkey, and it was a great bird. We went over there, and that bird had probably a nine-inch beard. Yeah. Good <laughs> job, buddy. That's awesome, man. We've been chasing these birds bird. all day. As Ross would say, you smoked him down, buddy. <laughs> well, that's good, man. I, you know, you put me on a lot of firsts this year. My first bear, now my first turkey, and heck, it's awesome. I got a black bear in Vancouver and a Merriam's turkey in Nebraska. And I tell you what. Ford Trucks is definitely taking this PBR Bull Rider outdoors. Yeah, we got the monkey off our back. Nice fan. Yep. Good job. Well, let's go find another one now. You got one now. The monkey's off your back. Yeah. It's yeah. still on mine, you know? <laughs> Sounds turn, great. Yeah, I'm ready. Once again, we got Okie Doke. We just baited on one area. We said, well, should we stay out here or let's go in a little closer? We decided to go in a little closer. Of course, that was Murphy's Law, wrong call. We'd be setting up here and there, and we had what we thought would be the perfect setup, and we'd have hens talking back and forth to us. 15, 20 minutes later, they'd go the other way. They're ahead of us. Drop down just real slow. She did right there. I'm pretty sure she didn't see me. There he's strutting for you. Trying to get ahead of the turkeys, the hunters land on top of them. He's gonna make his step one up another step or two. He only got a couple seconds. Darn. It's almost too far. Chase was on. We followed these birds on and on and on. We couldn't get to them. You go up the hill? To your left. I'm not sure where he went. Is that them? Yeah. You can get him. Yeah, he's gone. Now I'm thinking, great. We got birds all over us, everywhere. All the time we're seeing birds, but I can't get myself in position to be able to get one of them. Yeah, that's too far. <sighs> the birds busted us. And off they go. Just go show you how far they'll move. I mean, they came off of there. 35, 40 minutes ago, and they've gone two miles. Yeah. And not even spooked, just moving. No, just moving. So. Yeah. yeah, they're feeding along all the way. We chased these birds, I don't know, four or five hours, up and down different hills, in these draws, out of these canyons. We thought we had them two or three times. Now, if we didn't scare them, they should be right out there in that bottom. We were able to work up the river bottom and you know, put a good stock on him. That was just a yard straight out there. Yep, yep, that's Tom. They're all Tom. They're watching where they are. Can we sneak up a little closer? We got set up and we waited. Same scenario as with Cody's, but this time we were in the right position. He made a couple calls. This time was a box call. Did you hear him? Yeah. I hear him. I see him. And all of a sudden, there he was. The bird appeared just the way you always see him, just the way you want him. Okay, Steve, give him another 10 yards. All right, here goes.
great shot. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Steve. You nailed him, he ain't going nowhere. <laughs> all right. Go. Yeah, all right, buddy. Oh, <laughs> nice first. <laughs> oh, look at that. Go, man. All right. That's smoking down, Dad. That's a nice beard. Oh, yeah. Cody's bird had a beard about a half inch longer. I don't know what this deal is with all these bull riders, but whether I'm hunting axis deer or wild boar or it's turkeys or bear, they all seem to be getting something just a little bit bigger than mine. Thanks, man. All right. Two down. The patience pays off. Yeah. All right. We finally got there. It's nice well, getting back to the truck yeah. with a beard, huh? Yeah, oh, it's been kind of a long day. Yeah. What a welcome sight this is. Yeah, it is. Oh. Yeah. All right, nice one.